so I had a non-stick pan I'm gonna add like two teaspoons of this fennel seed or anise I just make them into brown to make the aroma comes out and on the other side I cook the uh, the uh, biko uh, the black rice I soak them overnight I got a biko recipe in my uh, playlist you can follow how to cook that and now I'm going to add one kind of coconut milk this coconut milk is cheap and I wouldn't recommend this in my cooking because you watch it later on my uh, videos of making lonok it makes a different so I'm gonna rinse it with a little bit of water It's nice to cook in a non-stick pan. It's easier to uh, fold over without sticking it underneath and go burn. <coughs> and then now I'm going to add my one can of condensed milk. I use half first and then add them slowly until I get the desired sweetness that I wanted in my biko. That's up to you how much sweet you have. But uh, for me, I had to uh, do it slowly until I get the desired sweetness because some people like sweet, some people like not really sweet and I don't like a real sweet biko. So in this segment here, I add one eighth cup of oil because the coconut here doesn't have enough oil in the can. The one in the coconut in the can doesn't have enough oil. You can add coconut oil if you want it to. That's a lot better, but this is only I'm gonna take it to work for the break. So uh, I just add a regular oil in it. So one eighth cup. Those are one eighth cup of uh, cooking oil. Just keep on stirring. Then now I'm going to add the rest <coughs> of the uh, condensed milk I had. So I had the uh, measurement adjustment of the uh, the sugar adjustment. In this time, I have to taste it if it's enough, but I don't think so. I got the uh, desired sweetness I had, so I had to add like half cup of brown sugar on this recipe. I added in half cup of brown sugar. I have to adjust the sweetness before I add it in my black rice. I cooked the black rice in a rice cooker but I had to soak them overnight because it's really a hard rice and if you follow the direction of uh, black rice cooking it's in my Biko recipe it's in my playlist so basically I cooked that black rice in a rice cooker like a regular uh, rice but I have to uh, add a one eight cup of oil when i cook them but then i have to soak the rice overnight first and mix it up with sticky rice uh, keep on stirring on that one this time you have to put your uh, fire really really slow
it is important to put your fire really slow in mixing this mixture of uh, candy smell if you don't uh, if you had a battery it's nice to have to add a butter in there like a one uh, one half chunk of butter those are really good because the butter is already a little bit salty but I don't have a butter this time but Biko is the best with the butter just don't keep on stirring in a slow fire until it looks like this then now we're making the, the coconut toppings I don't know how to call that one in English you can guys uh, drop the comments below if you know how to say this in English. Uh, a, a, a coconut lunok. So I had to put. You had to make this other one. I got this at the uh, restaurant supplies one. It doesn't turn out good. This is what it looks like. And it doesn't smell like a coconut thing. It's not supposed to look like this. We'll see with this other brand. I never seen like this before. It's like a rubber when you tear them up. I don't know. This is the difference of making this one, this brand. It's got a really good, uh, I can already smell the coconut thing and it's got a really good, uh, it's got a good size for the, well, it's not what I taste. This brand is a no-no to me. It's not a good thing because it doesn't smell like coconut and that's what it's look like when it's, when it's done and it's not supposed to be like that so I'm not using that definitely this is not my brand of a coconut I'm sorry to the distributor of this one but I already experienced it in my cooking I did squirt a little bit of oil which is I'm talking about the quality and the quantity for one whole thing it's it's a big difference with the other one masasabi mo sa coconut na talagang um, uh, quality coconut talaga hindi na bali na mas mahal siya kasi nakikita ko yung isa sa mumurahing store the same brand is came from Thailand pero hindi ganito ang ano niya yung uh, yung uh, quantity niya ng lono kumbaga, kumbaga nag i siya nang hindi ko alam kung bakit ganon kasi never pa ako naka-encounter ng ganon na coconut eh so ayokong kainin yan pero nagamit ko na yan sa ano ko, ginataan na gulay okay lang naman siya pero pag ginagawa mo siya ng lono iba ang ano niya, iba ang texture niya hindi ganito ito talaga ang perfect kita mo, amoy-amoy na siya ng mantika yun ang amoy ng ano eh um, parang plastic na sunog, hindi ko alam basta mayroon pa yata akong isang ano doon kasi baka mamaya 
magreklamo yung may-ari at least ako may proof ako na ganyan ang resulta ng ano. Hindi ko alam baka ano rin siya. Kumbaga hindi tulad nito medyo may concentrated siya. Pero concentrate man, concentrated naman ang ano niya yung ano niya tingnan. Kaya lang hindi ganito yung resulta pag gumagawa ka ng ano ng luno. Ganito lang naman ang gusto ko eh. Kita mo yung difference? So, I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, yung uh, sisiraan yung ibang company. Kasi, tingnan mo naman ang difference. See? The difference of the other coconut, the blue color. So, this is the result of this one. And this one is this one. It's just perfect. Ganito kasi ang ano ko. Ang ginagamitan ko sa ano na to. This one. Kasi babaunin ko sa trabaho.